Hi, I'm discouraged. It's been about two weeks since I got home from my big Nashville adventure where I recorded um, an album at Grey Matters Studio, which was the best. But it was also really scary and it also felt like a really important and big step for me to be making. But yeah, still pretty great. I'm home, I'm COVID free, bless. Um, and I'm kind of back in the normal swing of life here. And I'm gonna be honest, I've had a really hard time coming back. I've had a hard time being back into like the normal day-to-day -day grind and um, uh, feeling like I, I there's a lack of like overarching, you know, big grand purpose. And just like in the simple things of what I'm doing every day. Like, you know, when I was in the studio every day, I was like, and then there's this song we're working on, check. Or, and then and now the bass player is gonna play, or now the keys, you know, all these, today we're doing background vocals. There was just a lot of, um, a lot of lists to be made and a lot of things to be checked off the list. It's very satisfying. If you've spent any time in church culture or went on any youth weekend retreats, we call this the coming down from the mountaintop experience, referencing Moses getting the Ten Commandments. The thing is, all the things that I have on my list now are all things that don't fall into my particular gifting. Things like opening bank accounts, fixing my website, figuring out how e-commerce works, None of those things are exactly in my wheelhouse. <laughs> and I just feel kind of like overwhelmed. Every day there's something else that's like, oh, and you gotta do this, and you gotta do this, and you gotta do this. Oh, don't forget this. If you do this wrong, it's gonna fail. Um, and I just don't wanna fail. And what I want to do is to keep trying, to be present in every process, not because I want to achieve some huge financial goal or to reach you know, a million people or any of those things. I just want to know that the work that I do is going to matter to someone. And it doesn't really matter how many someone's, even if that someone is me, I want to honor my work enough to keep at it and to proceed, to keep going. And one of the things that I'm realizing is that to stop the cycle of capitalism, white supremacy, um, heteronormative patriarchy within myself, I have to stop believing that the only solution or the only goal should be some big financially, you know, firework situation at the end of all of this. The trick is to see there is no end to all of this, that it just keeps going. It just keeps going because if I keep going, then it keeps going and there's nothing to say that I've failed if I just keep going another way to fight all those isms in me all the things that I've internalized all this like individualism in particular is to find the people who are good at the things that I'm not good at and ask them for help and if they're artists pay them what they deserve even if they're not artists but you get what I'm saying so to those people who maybe are parents or who have a job that is not fulfilling their creative needs or they're feeling the weight of the monotonous sort of day-to-day -day grind I just want to say keep going like you're not headed to the Emerald City you're building the yellow brick road she says to herself just know that I'm in this right now real time and I'm going to be as honest as possible and that um, if you ever need to run anything buy somebody or just say something out loud um, to have somebody else hear you um, just drop me a line I just wanna encourage us to keep going, to keep trying, to keep building that road. Steady now, you're here.